Hello, I'm Robert, and this time I want to explain uh, how to set up Barnes Metronome if you want every single part to play on a different MIDI channel. And then the reason why you might want to do that is because you then want to save it as a MIDI file, which you then will maybe open in your door. And because each, um, each part is playing on a different MIDI channel, then that means that you can then change the instrument for each part and, and things like that. So if you're going to do that, first thing is that the way Barnes Metronome is set up is that it plays its instruments using a general MIDI standard, which is a standard that's used, it's a default player on both Mac and on Windows and generally is such a general, general MIDI standard where it sets aside channel 10 for non-melodic percussion. So all the non-melodic percussion instruments that you select in Barnes Metronome will all be played on channel 10. So that's not what we want. So in order to deal with that, we first have to make sure that we're playing melodic instruments. So go to instruments, and you add melodic instruments to it, if you don't have them already. And now we have to set these to any melodic instrument, it doesn't matter what. It's a different one for each part. So set instrument for part one, and set that to, I don't know, say piano or something. What I set, it doesn't really matter what I set it to. I haven't said anything yet to piano. You can set part two to something else, I don't know. Say, uh, doesn't really matter, remember? And now we can play it, and we'll hear this played on two melodic instruments. And so, so then the next thing you want to do is that you go, you've got to make sure that every part plays its instruments on a different channel. And so now you go to config and you want to go to, does it have it there? No, so uh, choose other devices to play notes. And then you want to go to the MIDI channels. I think you may have to, yes, you have to go to advanced mode for that to see it. Yes. And do we have it yet? And then I think we want to go to config and to more windows and options as well. There, now we have it. And so now you see this option, out channels. And now it's default to play each part on all of the MIDI channels. And this lets Bounce Metronome move notes around to different channels to optimize the pitch bends for microtonal work. But for what we're doing here, then we, we, we don't need to do that. They all, each is just playing a single note. Use this channel equals part button. Click on that. And then you have part one plays MIDI channel one, part two plays MIDI channel two. And then I think we will find, if we go back to the parts window, if we, if we make another rhythm, you know, say like, just go back to the main window, I think we will find, let's just check. Go, say, uh, add two subdivisions, okay. And I think we will find there that yes, that it is that this third one is set to channel three. Now that is again set to non melodic -melod percussion. So to get this to work, we will we'll, we'll have to, of course, set that to a melodic instrument. So make sure all your parts are set to melodic instruments, and then you should be good to go. You know, I don't know, something, it really doesn't matter what it is because you're going to change it afterwards. And then finally, if you want to save it as a MIDI file, you go File, and then we should have somewhere Export to Export to Audio C Sound or MIDI file, and then we want to have Save as MIDI file for Tune or Rhythm. And you can uh, if you, you can configure it better if you go to MIDI file options, and there you can set the amount of time that you want to save. So save that as a MIDI file, and then you can open that. In, in your door and you should be good to go.